Jordan, just for you, is, is there a bigger week, bigger flip in what you have to prepare for than going from Kansas State to Texas Tech? Oh, yes, most definitely. I mean, you can look at the offenses just through TV, uh, not even film evaluation, but like, you know, they're totally two different offenses. Um, I saw something about Texas Tech through like 60 some times or something along those lines. So, you know, totally two different offenses and, you know, different, different paces and stuff like that. We'll, we'll definitely go into practice this week and, and try to prepare as, as best as we can for their tempo and their high, high powered offense. What's the biggest adjustment from that for, for you as an inside linebacker? Well, we definitely got to stay in shape. Um, you know, instead of making plays up at the line of scrimmage like you can with Kansas State and like we did with Texas and stuff like that, I might have to run 20 yards across the field to be a part of a play and, you know, just got to stay in shape, make sure I don't get winded because once I'm winded, then they can take advantage of me. How much of Saturday's success was simply that Kansas State's game plans played right into your hands? Well, I think at the end of the day, it's more of how we execute our calls, you know. Um, we prepared well. I thought we got put in the right positions and we made the plays as well. So, you know, you're not ever going to always have a perfect call regardless of the team. But if you still run what you're calling, you know, have no mistakes, you, be, you should be able to shut anybody down. What's the biggest problem that Tech presents to you all this week? I mean, their offense is so explosive. Um, so they can cause problems to any team each and every week. So their they're the big play making abilities and stuff like that, their tempo is going to be you know, kind of hard to manage, but they got a great quarterback back there too, and a lot of skilled guys that can make cause a lot of problems. We've heard all year about um, Oboe and just kind of, I guess, how he's grown up on and off the field. Obviously, we're seeing the results in his play, but when, at what point in time, did you really start to see a difference in him, and, and what do you think triggered that? Um, I mean, he's been my roommate since I've been here, and so <coughs> I've kind of seen him kind of mold into what he's become. But I feel like it, it, he's always been like that. Um, but he had guys like Stryker and D-Bond and that were kind of ahead of him, so he had to kind of send their shadows. But you know, I would definitely say last spring is when he was getting all the reps and he kind of realized that, like, you know, it's his time to step up and, you know, he's been doing a great job for us. What do you think Jordan Parker played? I thought he played great, you know. I mean, he's a young guy. I thought he played uh, exceptionally well um, against Texas last week. And, you know, he's, he's making strides. He has some uh, overcome some things over in the off season when he first got here. And, you know, it's just good to see a young guy like that, especially with confidence that he's having right now to go out there and make the plays that he's making. If you get to see a uh, Tech's game against West Virginia, there's anything that you can learn from the success they had against their offense? Um, I haven't really watched it, but, I mean, I'm sure that we'll be able to watch the film and kind of see what they did and how they schemed Texas Tech and how they were able to hold them to, what was it, 17? Something like that or 19, whatever it was. So I'm sure we can learn from their film. I asked Bob this after Saturday's game. Where, where do you think you guys are at just as a team right now? I don't even have an answer for that, really. I mean, I know we're, no one is happy where we're at right now. I mean, we still want to get better each every week and still keep on winning and still chasing a Big 12 championship and stuff like that. So I don't think. I think we made some strides from week one, obviously, uh, obviously, but I still think there's a lot more strides that we can make. How close are you guys to being where you want to be, especially defensively? Um, I don't, I don't know if I have a true answer for that. I mean, I feel like if we get consecutive shutouts, then I'll say like we're at where we want to be. But I mean, in all all phases, the passing game, running game, getting to the uh, the passer or the quarterback, and you know, D-line linebackers and the DBs will all tell y'all that we could get better in, in, in certain ways. And then once our defense, I feel like, is becoming more dominant, then I feel like we could sit here and say we're at where we want to be. Is it difficult for you guys having so many guys rotating in and out with injury stuff, or is it just like you guys have been saying, oh, you're next man up? And yeah, it, I mean, you have to have that mentality because you never know when you're going to be, you know, you get your number called and have to go play. But I know it's kind of hard, you know, you don't ever want to face injuries and deal with that, but I feel like we've made the best out of it. Guys have stepped up and made the plays that they need to make, uh, make and so I, th I think we're doing all right with that right now. I know fans are looking forward to it, but are you guys looking forward to a 7 p.m. kickoff kickoff in Lubbock on Saturday night? I guess. I mean, I mean I'm going to get home a little bit later, but, I mean, it, it's fun. I know the atmosphere is going to be great out there, especially with the whole return of Baker and stuff like that, night game. and. They're going to throw tortillas at us and stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Do you expect, you to, guys, see any, 
Do you expect to see anything different from Baker <clears throat> mentality-wise or just kind of in practice leading up to the game? Uh, I, I, knowing Baker, he's, he's a huge competitor. And, um, I mean, he's going to be just as competitive as ever, as ever before. But at the same time, I'm sure he's going to have a little edge about him. But, I mean, who wouldn't? You go back to your... You know, you back to where you come from. You're gonna always want to ball out there, but I know he's gonna stay focused and not let like let the moment get too ahead of himself. Do you guys get fired up knowing what he's gonna hear personally? Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have his back. So if people disrespect him, I feel like they disrespect me. And so, you know, we're gonna like we want to go out there and, and and bring one home for Bacon. You know, Coach Riley and. And Simmons and stuff like that. So we definitely, you know, here. But at the same time, we still have to stay focused on us and let, not let us get, uh, you know, get too big headed about that stuff. You're kind of touching upon it, but how is this rivalry for you as a player? What What do you guys view Tech as, you know, within the locker room? Uh, we always know Tech brings um, their best when they play us. Um, uh, each and every year, regardless of what the score might be, but they're always, you know, a really good game for us. You know, they have a great team out there, um, especially coming from the defensive side. Their offense is so explosive. They have a lot of playmakers. they got a great quarterback. And, you know, it's kind of like a challenge when you're playing. Well, I think they were the second-best offense last year in the country or something like that. So, you know, you know what you're going to stake and are going to get up against, and it's kind of like a challenge. So, if anything, it's just more of a challenge to see where we're at because of how great of offense they have. Appreciate it. Thanks.